While randomly searching for some good series to watch, I recently stumbled upon The Night Manager from 2016. This series scores tremendously well, but yet I haven't heard of it or seen it before. It's one of these series that goes under the radar competing with some big names like Stranger Things or Lucifer. And yet this series is very much a diamond in the rough. The Night Manager is a show about a car salesman who after selling a pickup truck to a shady couple finds himself in... Ah, I almost got you there, didn't I? No, The Night Manager is about basically what the title suggests. But with that, it really only covers about 20 minutes of the entire season. Because calling this series The Night Manager is like calling the Spider-Man movies The Photographer. It does play a part in the story, but a part is really all it is. The Night Manager is about a night manager who comes across a woman who hands him a document containing a list of many illegal weapons. Being the good Samaritan that he is, he hands this document over to the British authorities. This has however been uncovered and the woman in question was killed for the leak. The night manager then gets more and more involved in his arms deal up until the point where he goes undercover and tries to get into the inner circle of the arms dealing boss himself. And at this moment the series basically caught me hook, line and sinker. And I must be honest that I'm not sure whether that is because of the amazing game of cat and mouse that's being played out in front of me or because the main villain being played by Hugh Laurie is so gosh darn charismatic that he could waterboard a goat for half an hour and I'd still watch it. There's also a few bad points, like how the main villain's son is used only to drive the plot a few times and other than that doesn't have any role in the series, but these are easily forgiven. The Night Manager is still a highly entertaining production that will easily keep you from doing that productive thing you've been planning all week for just another 6 episodes. I rate it an 8.5 out of 10.